We've opened a doorway to a world we know nothing about. Hey, 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 it's Nicole Kellerman here and we are on to another segment of Health Nugs. Okay, so before we get started, I have to introduce you to a new member of the family. <laughs> this is Mia. Mia, say hi. So, so Mia is a golden doodle, and she's a new little addition to the family who is a pretty high maintenance dog. We like to, we like to call her uh, Mia Fluffy Butt because she has a little fluffy butt. I won't show you it, but you could imagine. So, George, come here. So now... We have Mia and George, George and Mia, and they're like brother and sister, so, okay, all right, whoops. So I just wanted to introduce you to them because we all know George, so now we have Mia. Okay, sorry, I had to put them away, they were a little rambunctious. So I wanted to make a quick video letting you know about a small step that you might be doing that's actually hindering your weight loss. Even though you may think you're doing good things by doing this, it's actually counteractive to what you truly want to achieve. And that's obsessing about numbers. If it be the scale or if it be get about counting calories. If you are a type A individual like myself, you need to listen up here because you might be mentally holding on to the weight with these numbers. And this is how that works, is that when you wake up in the morning and you step on the scale and you see that number and it gets to you emotionally, I am telling you right now, get off the scale, throw it out. It's not doing you any justice whatsoever. You can track if you're losing weight or you're gaining weight by your pants, by your shirts, all that thing. You do not need a scale. If stepping on a scale takes you to an emotional level, seriously, do me a favor and throw it out. Or do a little trial run. For the next month, don't step on it and see how you feel. I guarantee you will feel better and you will lose weight much faster. The second thing is counting calories. Counting calories puts you in a stressful state all the time. If you're constantly obsessing about the number and you're like turning things over, and you're like, can I do that, blah, 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 you're like invoking a lot of stress and emotion in your body, which is exactly what you don't want to do. Having those stressful hormones in your body makes you hold on to weight. So this is holding you back with your weight loss. I agree with food journaling. Food journaling is a very important tool and a very, very powerful tool because it just brings awareness to what you eat. So you can still food journal, just take the numbers out of it. So try these two things this week if you are a person who is a type A, who really obsesses about the number on the scale or about how many calories you're counting, just try this for me. Just give it a little whirl because I guarantee things will start shifting, but you have to stick with it. So if you have any concerns, anything that just stands out to you, something that you're like really resistant to trying this, comment below. I want to know what's going on in your head so we can work through this so you can reach your goals. So I look forward to your comments below. Again, if you're new to me, Nicole Kellerman, make sure you hop on over to NicoleKellerman.com and sign up for my weekly blogs because they're all about helping you get fit while having fun, which is the way to do it, right? All right, have a good day.